Hello everyone, it's Shell C from Paper Rock Tio Studio, and today I'm sharing with you another quick art journal page uh, for our daily art journaling challenge in October 2021. Uh, the hashtag is AJOS Peculiar Persona, and that is from our Art Joy of Sharing art community on Facebook. And there is a prompt list, and today's prompt is Palmyra. Pickerton. This challenge for October 2021 is all about creating characters in your art journal, doing some quick art journaling each day, and getting into the habit of doing something creative every day. I did provide a free collage collection in the group. If you haven't joined Art Joy of Sharing, the link down below the video will take you there and you can ask to join. Uh, make sure you answer the questions when you ask to join. So today I'm grabbing out some stuff from my collage collection sheets and they are royalty free things from unsplash.com which is a place where you can find all kinds of photography and things that uh, have been placed there for you to use in your art. Not for selling, just for your use. So I do have a few cutout things. I did cut out another thing that uh, is a little hat. And I am applying some acrylic paint to my gessoed page using a card. This is, you know, just a discarded out of date credit card, I think on the, this one. I have a whole collection of little key cards and all kinds of stuff to use for scrapers because they're free and why not? They make great little scrapers. This is the very first page of the book, and so the, the one side on the right is very fat, and the side on the left is flat, so there is quite a bit of a dip in between that I have to deal with. But I'm using some Dina Wakely paints, and I just scraped on some, some sky blue at the top. Then uh, the, I think that middle one might be called lime maybe in the bottom maybe evergreen i'm not sure but they are heavy body weights from <laughs> heavy body weights okay heavy body paints from the dina wakely ranger line so then i'm taking a stencil from stencil girl i cut up this stencil into different pieces and this is just a quick way to make some color on there i'm using the the coral color uh, heavy body paint and I'm using a little brush that's intended to be a makeup brush but I use it for stenciling. I was pretty messy and quick on this one. I wasn't trying to be um, I was trying to be impressionistic kind of or painterly. I wasn't trying to be perfect. I'm not sure that I succeeded but <laughs> that was my intention was to be real impressionistic and make this uh, happy background with flowers and uh, clouds and pretty colors for my collage piece. I didn't have a lot of time this day to make anything so I'm going quickly not like layers and layers and layers but more just enough to do a quick page and then be done for the day. So I got out some of that evergreen paint and a little paintbrush and some of the lime color too. And I'm painting on stems and leaves. I also got a little bit of titanium white out to mix and making some stems and leaves because flowers make people happy. And <laughs> that's what this page is about, is being happy, happy, happy. Happy as a pig in mud, right? <laughs> so the prompt is Palmera Pigerton. You know, that sounds like she's probably a pig, right? She doesn't have to be. She could be something else. It's all up to your imagination. But in my case, uh, there was this illustration that I got from Unsplash. And I thought that she looked exactly like she would be a Palmyra Pigerton. That was just it. So that's the one I decided to use. And I put some more stenciling on there with some yellow. I got out some of this uh, gloss spray. I, I just grabbed my my drawer of Dina Wakely stuff basically. So I've got some gloss spray that I'm splattering on there. I was uh, gonna spray to begin with and all of them were clogged and I didn't feel like 
unclogging. Uh, that's, that's the thing about sprays, man. They just are so annoying. So then I decided I wanted some purple flowers as well. And so this time I just grabbed a little bit of lavender paint and some darker purple paint. These aren't Dina Wakely. These are the um, Liquitex Basics ones that are sitting next to my desk. And I applied those with that same brush by just tapping the brush right onto the paper. I didn't use a stencil or anything. And I'm mixing the paints with white. And I've got two colors of purple and then I mixed a little white for a highlight and threw on some more um, flowers in a different color. I wanted it to look like a big field of flowers while you might, where you might go pick flowers. So now I have my little image. This was printed on a laser printer, so it's not going to smear or run. I don't need to seal it. I'm using a Yoohoo glue stick to stick it down. This is in my art journal, so I'm not worried about it coming unstuck because it's just going to be folded shut and put away, probably not to be seen much very often. I mean, occasionally I get out my old journals and look at them to see how far I've come, but mostly this is about practice. This is a Dilusions Dialogue Journal, and uh, it's got lines on the pages. It's the one that you could write in if you wanted to, but... I'm just using it as an art journal. So then I thought it would be fun to use fabrics, like actual textile fabrics, to make her little skirt. And um, I have this one strip of, of cotton that's got some paint on it. It's been colored with paint. And so I'm cutting out kind of these petal shapes and I realized that I should have cut the basket, like this would have been so much easier if I had cut around the basket that she's holding and um, not glued that part down until after I put the skirt on. Wouldn't that would have been a lot easier? <laughs> Instead, I have to cut the little pieces to fit around it, which is fiddly, you know, do as I say, not as I do. If you thought she was going to have a skirt, maybe she needed to have that that basket moved out of the way first. But this worked fine because, of course, if I'd done it the way I'm saying, then the basket would have been glued on top of textiles, which would have made it bumpy. So, you know, that's another problem that, you know, that I would have had to deal with. So either way, I'm just working around it. I'm making little pieces, gluing them down with some uh, tacky glue, craft glue to uh, get them all in place to make her have a little skirt. You know, I think that Palmyra is a very proper pig and she's wearing a, uh, her Sunday best hat and she's wearing her skirt and she's off to pick flowers. And um, in the land that she lives in, flowers are called smiles because you cannot not smile when you see flowers, right? Flowers equal smiles. And so she's in the smiles field picking some flowers, which she's going to take home and put in a vase. And um, then maybe she's going to cook something lovely like a nice cake or a proper pudding uh, to spend the rest of her day. So <laughs> this is what's fun about Peculiar Persona. You make up a story as you're going um, making these little characters in your book and thinking about who they are and what they might be. That was the whole idea behind this prompt challenge. Um, also, of course, just to get you to do some art journaling and join with us and share your art. And if you are sharing on social media, you can hashtag that and we'll be able to find it. If you're making videos, you can also hashtag that and we'll be able to find it. So... We hope a lot of people are participating. It's only day three so far, so we're not sure. But I know some people are, and it'll be a lot of fun. So then I got out some ribbon. Um, I did make the top of her, like, it's kind of like tied with a bow in the back. I put some ribbon, some pink ribbon with, with flowers on it to make her skirt waistband. And then I got some yellow ribbon and glued that onto the hat because it is her very proper Sunday hat. It must have ribbons and bows. And then now um, the illustration was had no black on it at all. It had 
uh, it was like it was done with brown, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'm using black to make it more intense on the page so that she doesn't get swallowed up by all the colors on the page. And I'm kind of adding more detail to the basket because it was pretty plain. And then I did that with a, a fine tip Posca pen, which is an acrylic paint pen. And then I took a water soluble um, Stabilo All pencil and I am going around the edges and into some of the lines and I'm going to blend that to make kind of a soft black shadow around. When I'm gluing something to a page like this, I don't want it to look isolated. I don't want it to look like a sticker. I want it to look as if it's been integrated into the page. So one of the ways I do that is to put a shadow around it. And I have this pink gloss spray, so I decided to use that. It's already on the desk to make uh, to pink up her cheeks and her nose and to add some polish, some pink polish to her. Uh, you know, she's had a manicure and pedicure, so she's got pink polish on her feet and her hands. Then I'm finishing up the shading around and making her something to stand on. Um, what I did notice was that since I glued textile on there, it wants to absorb water. And so I have to be careful to keep my blending away from just a, just a tiny bit away from that that cloth and then to, to fill in the lines on the inside I got a different uh, oil impregnated charcoal pencil called Jerry's Jumbo Jet Pencil and I did that over the textiles because I know it won't absorb into the fabric and then I needed a little bit of detail on my very pastel colored uh, butterfly up in the sky and so I used some of that Stabilo All and I used another um, uh, illustration pen as well. I let that dry a little bit so I'm moving on to the white where I'm adding some centers and highlights to my flowers and you know that type of stuff with the white adding some highlights here and there. You know I like to do this you, you guys who watch me I like to add white highlights to things. <laughs> I like lines around the outsides of things and I like to add white highlights to things. It's part of my style. So that I did and then um, jazzed up that butterfly a little bit with a very, very small tipped pen because it was quite detailed little Dilly Bobber. You, you can hardly see it on the video, but up close you'll be able to see. Um, that that was that's a pretty pastel butterfly. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's offering for hashtag AJOS Peculiar Persona Daily Art Journaling Challenge. I hope that you guys are playing along. If you haven't started yet, you can. Don't stress about it. If you only get one or two pages done, it's fine. It's still fun. It's it's uh, something that you will enjoy. So join us at Art Journal Sharing Art Community. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.